Okay, so you will have a chart in your book that talks about the essential keys and the one, four, fives for each one of those keys. But I want to show that to you right now, so let's go through those. In the key of A, it would be A, D, and E. In the key of C, it would be C, F, and G. In the key of D, it would be D, G, and A. Okay. In the key of E now, this one's a little different, we've got E, A, and B. If you don't know B though, you're going to have to learn at this point we're going to use B7. Okay. B winds up being a bar chord, and if you know that, that's awesome, and if you don't, don't worry about it right now, we're not concerned with that. But we're going to learn B7 to play in the key of E. So if we want to play something like, um, you know, just come off the top of my head, there's a song, an old song by Brooks and Dunn called Boot Scoot and Boogie that uses E, A, and B7. Um, there's another one by Brooks and Dunn called Honky Tonk Stomp that uses E, A, and B7. Um, so, th I mean, there's a million songs out there. I'm just thinking of what's off the top of my head. But anyway, those use E, A, and B7. Okay, so B7 is done by putting your first finger on the fourth string, first fret. Put your middle finger on the fifth string, second fret. Put your ring finger on the third string, second fret. And then put your pinky on the first string, second fret. And just strum the bottom five. Now that's not one of my essential 10. I kind of try and avoid B7 a lot just simply because it, the only time we're really going to use B7 is if we're in the key of E. But again, it, if you've got the time and you've got the, uh, the patience for it, absolutely learn B7 and add it in there. Okay? And then we've got the key of G. Now the key of G is the, probably the single most used key on the guitar. So the 1, 4, 5 in the key of G would be G, C, that'd be your 4 chord, and D. G, C, and D. Uh, old time rock and roll, um, you know, um, Leonard Skinner, Sweet Home Alabama. Uh, I mean, the list could go on and on if you listen to 80s music like stuff like I Remember You by Skid Row or Every Rose Has Its Thorn by Poison. There's just a ton of them that would use that 145 over and over and over again. And there's, there's literally a billion songs out there. Again, I'm just throwing the ones off the top of my head, but anyway, so those are the one, four, fives that we want to get comfortable with, is learning to think about them in groups. So if I told you a song was in the key of G, you'd already assume you're going to see a C and or a D chord, okay? You're going to see those chords together over and over and over. So you want to get used to primarily the sound of a one, four, five. Again, the key is irrelevant at this point. If we can figure out the key, that's awesome. But if we hear the sound of a song, and we can figure out that it sounds like a 1 and a 4 and a 5, then what we can do is, and that's the next step, is start figuring out where that is. W what key are we in? I can hear the 1 and the 4 and the 5. I can hear the major qualities, because all three of those chords are major, of course. But I don't know what key it's in. Well, we're going to get to that, okay?